Hello, this is Jorge Alfano for Oneness TV. Today we're going to share with you the second chapter of Andean Quest. This is a sequel of a few episodes uh, for you to learn and to remember uh, the teachings of the elders that came from Lemuria long time ago into Peru and not only Peru but Ecuador and Chile and Argentina and uh, what is known today as South America. They also went to other places like Mount Shasta, Mexico, Central America, but the teachings are very fresh still today in uh, South America. So for the last 30 years I've been researching um, not only uh, through uh, many different communities, but also through their music. Uh, I'm a, a no musicologist, so I found a lot of things that I would like to share with you that are not common in our education, um, in our society. So uh, I would like to start for sharing with you the philosophy and the cosmogony of the Andean uh, people as it was uh, taught by the Lemurian masters that came from the continent of Mu. Uh, they used many different ways of passing this through the ages. Um, these are uh, pillars of the uh, communities, how their communities are made and they are put together. And maybe the most important of all is called Aini, reciprocity. Today I work for you, tomorrow you work for me. And in this way, we build a, a very spiritual society. This is one of the uh, pillars, but there's many others, like for example, uh, Amasua, Amakelia, Amayulia, which means honor, work, and truth. And these are also very important within the, uh, the learning that we do with the Andean people. Uh, but this is better in their, in their cultures, in everyday life. It's not something that they do only on Sundays when they go to the temples. So this uh, uh, path of spirituality is not based on um, deities that are not uh, with us. These deities uh, that we uh, relate to, they are with us all every second of our life, like the sun, the moon, uh, Pachamama, the earth, Unu, the water, Nina, fire. They're always with us and so we can relate to them in a very uh, spiritual way, not from a book, not from something that I heard of, but every day. They're part of my elemental existence. So. Um, for this purpose, they have created also, the creators have created these um, saiwas. The word saiwa means obelisk or marker, like on a road when you have a marker that tells you where you are or how many kilometers uh, you uh, are uh, moving uh, through. So uh, these uh, obelisks are very important because um, the myth say that they put one in each mountain for us to look at them and to actually learn what is inside of these principles. Uh, these principles, as I say, they are called saiwas, obelisks. The first one is kausai saiwa. Kaisau, uh, kaisau saiwa is the energy that is contained within everything. Kausai Saiwa. Kausai is the word for the energy that is embedded in every planet in the cosmos, is the uh, energy that is uh, controlling that the planets are not crashing into each other. It's what puts together the galaxies, is what is in, in our life, is what harmonizes with uh, life on Earth. Without this energy, Kausai, um, uh, there will be no existence. So it's a very important uh, way of start working uh, on yourself by understanding this first uh, energy called Kausai Saiwa. Uh, 
Kausai, as I say, is an energy that it runs through absolutely everything, from a stone up to uh, an animal, into your body, into the river, in the mountains. This energy is present on everything. For that, they also created a, a music that will help you to understand or become more sensitive to the codification of what this energy is. So here it is, a brief meditation with the, the music of uh, Kausai Saiwa. I want you to close your eyes and take a deep breath and listen to this music and think of the energy that sustains your life. The next Saiwa or marker, the next mountain that we need to climb is called Chekak Saiwa. Chekak means truth. There is only a space for one truth. There is no many other chances for existence of other truth. There is only a uh, space for one truth. There is many other truths that are relative to the one. but. The most important truth is the universal truth. And this is, uh, this of course has many different levels, but meditating on truth will allow us to become more sensitive to see this truth on everything. 
And that's why we are going to share with you another meditation with the music of Chekak Saiwa. I will explain later on more concepts about the truth. But for right now, close your eyes, take a deep breath and listen to the music. And now we are going to meditate on Yuyai Saiwa, which is reason. Uh, to, be, to be able to accept and to know how the universal knowledge uh, works. It's very important to concentrate at this level of consciousness, which allows us to understand what reason is. Meditating, uh, separating for the material existence, adapting and concentrating on this particular meditation will allow us to understand what knowledge is in our personal life. How can we apply this knowledge of reason? This is Yuyai Saiwa and this is the music for it. Take a deep breath and allow the music to take you where you should be.
Chuliak Saiwa is the next obelisk or the next marker in the mountain that we need to climb. Uh, Chuliak Saiwa means union, union with absolutely everything in the universe. To be able to uh, understand the three different energy centers like Yankai, Munai, and Yanchai, or Yachai, the Amados, uh, they will be the motor, more, uh, motor center, emotional center, and the intellectual center. This is all connected. If we are not separate from one each other, but we need to understand them, how they work in a union, completely uh, working with each other. We need to first understand each of them. This is called Yuliak Saiwa, union. Think of and feel uh, in this meditation the amazing presence of union through the universe in your life with the people that you love, with your community. This union is very important. Here is the music for Chuliak Saiwa uh, Union. Take a deep breath and listen to the music. The next obelisk or marker or mountain that we need to climb is called Nunak Saiwa. Nunak trans translates as spirit or essence 
And everything in the universe has an essence. Sometimes it's a collective essence, and sometimes it's an individual essence. This is the blueprint of who you are. This is how you are made. Nunak Saiwa, the essence of who you are. It's very important to establish a connection with this very particular part of you since uh, it contains everything that you have been and everything that you will be. This is what survives when you are uh, leaving this body, this outfit, uh, into other dimensions. Nunak Saiwa is uh, one of the most important markers in our spiritual ascension. So here is the music for Nunak Saiwa. Please listen to the music and allow the vibration and the codes of the music to take you into your essence. The next step in our ascension uh, is a principle called Kalyari Saiwa. This is a mountain that we have to climb uh, because it's the personification or the map of your spiritual path. This is how you see yourself walking through this life and for that, to make this map, we have to really know this principle. Kalyari Saiwa, uh, it deals with opportunity, it deals with your vision, with the temporality of your life, and it's essential 
in order to know where you want to go as an essence, that as an awakened human being, as an awakened essence, somebody who is conscious, it's very important that you realize Cagliari Saiwa, the principle behind everything, the map, the, the blueprint of your spiritual path. So here is the music for Cagliari Saiwa. Take a deep breath and allow the music to take you to the next octave where we're going. The next uh, mountain that we need to climb, where this obelisk is, uh, it's Munai Saiwa. Munai means amor, love. Uh, Munai is uh, the mechanism that is embedded in the universe. Everything in the universe is made out of Munai. There is no other energy superior or more in tune with the creators and the essence than Munai. But no Munai or love just like we know in our, our everyday life, the love that we just feel for a dog or a person or this, I would say, everyday love. This is a science. Munai is, uh, is 100% what keeps us alive uh, not only in this universe, but in the multiverses where many other beings in, uh, from different dimensions, lower and higher, exist. They exist thanks to Munai. And by understanding the mechanics of how Munai works, uh, we will advance in our ascension in a very, uh, I would say, speedy way. Um, 
Uh, not that we need to accelerate anything, but yes, by understanding and becoming more and more conscious every day, we can help and we can serve, because serving is also munai, is also love. And only through serving and manifesting love in your life, in everything that you do, you will advance in your spiritual process. So. It's very important that also uh, we understand that Munai is the only way that we can actually understand what impersonal life is. Impersonal life meaning to control your personality and allow your essence to create your life. Because you are pure essence, you are not your personality, you are not your name, you are not your body. These are vehicles that you use to manifest love on earth. So if you put everything on to serve this purpose, you will be accomplishing the great work of the masters on earth, all the ascended masters. That's their great work to manifest this love on earth through creativity, through service, compassion. All of these principles are full of munai and without doing this this life becomes very empty so i challenge you to think on this and to actually uh, meditate on this and for that they have also a mathematical frequency combination of codes called uh, munai saiwa the music of munai saiwa it's very important that we use music because music transcends any verbal communication. It's, it's a shortcut, it's a faster way to get into your essence. So here is the music for Munai Saiwa. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and only allow love in your heart.
Now you can open your eyes, take a deep breath, and remember all these different principles that are part of our spiritual ascension. It's very important to for the seeker that is looking into the teachings of the Lemurians and the Andean masters uh, to remember these principles. We are going to move on to the cosmogony of uh, the Andean uh, people and uh, for this I would like to remember few teachers that I have or that I uh, uh, I learned from uh, through different groups and one of them was Nina Sonko, Corazón de Fuego. He was part of the Solar Brotherhood known as Intic Churincuna, which is one of the great um, branches of uh, the universal teachings of the seven uh, ray schools and many other schools that manifested on earth. Uh, they are universal, as, as I said before. Um, these, uh, these teachings were always connected, of course, with the cosmos, with understanding how uh, we are part of the universe, we are not separate from it, and if we inhabit in a planet, in a solar system, it's because of a very particular reason. Uh, it's not just because uh, it happens, life doesn't just happen. Life is a very well programmed uh, development by the creators. It's not just random. It doesn't just change from, from a, a, a monkey into a human being. It doesn't happen like that. There is a lot of work on genetics that goes behind the scenes for this amazing life to happen. So once we establish that, we can move forward to understand that the deities of our uh, Andean system of cosmogony, they are much alive. They're not a picture on a book. They're not uh, beings that we cannot relate to. Uh, and this is so important. Uh, and for that reason, uh, the Quechua nation and the, the Quechua people have kept a lot of the teachings in the dark so they won't suffer the, the destruction and the distortion that happened many times. So, but I will share with you some of the different deities. Uh, there is many uh, mountains uh, in, in the Andes that are sacred to the people, and they have guardians. This we call Apu. The same mountain is a guardian, and so we call for example, the mountain called Salkantai, it's actually referred to Apu Salkantai. It's seen as a deity, as a, something that is alive, that we respect very much, that we, we honor the presence of this uh, uh, deity. Another uh, deity uh, could be the moon, Kilia. Kilia manifests creation uh, by actually balancing our planet, the sun, our father, full of light and energy, uh, is also uh, a deity that is the most important one. And like that, we can go on to many different ones. As I say, Pachamama, the earth, uh, Quichi, the rainbow, has a very uh, particular place in this cosmogony. But also, um, when the Brotherhood decided to leave the, um, the Earth and also uh, the planet, they actually left many temples for us to understand these realities. So I'm talking about Machu Picchu, I'm talking about uh, Tiahuanaco, uh, Lake Titicaca, many, many different huacas. A huaca is a, a sacred space uh, that is actually uh, a sanctuary or a place to rest. Um, uh, very important to find these places all around the Amazonic uh, Peruvian mountains, 
uh, all, all the way down to Tierra del Fuego with all the many different nations that were affected by the teachings of the Lemurians, the Mapuches, the Tehuelches, uh, Huancaquiles, all different uh, native people that were here long before the Dracos that came from Spain uh, to actually destroy uh, the Lemurian Empire. So it's very important to understand what happened at that time. Uh, there is many different ways of connecting with these deities. Uh, one of the most uh, popular are called despachos uh, that we do offering and honoring different uh, deities of the uh, existence of the spiritual cosmogony of of the Andes, but the most important one is Inti, our Father the Sun. For that, I would like to share with you a very particular exercise that we do. Um, well, of course, it contains music, so I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. And before you do that, you will open your arms and open your hands like this, invoking the presence of Inti receiving through the chakras of the hands uh, the power of Inti. And in this way uh, we are going to meditate. It's a brief meditation with the music of uh, invocation of Inti. And uh, I thank you very much for listening to me and to uh, tune on Oneness TV. I'm going to leave you with this meditation. God bless you and I will see you in the next episode. This is Jorge Alfano for Oneness TV.